Oh no. Hello everybody. As you saw, this morning is very, very cold. I have done the full update. I feel like I can finally vlog like a normal day, which is what I've wanted to do. There's been just so much right after the other that I just need to put some good fun stuff out. Um, now, <laughs> someone, some people might not find this fun, but it is 40 below. So I figured I'd do a day in the life of 40 below. Now our thermometer I think is a little bit off because it's reading 50 below. I don't know. I don't know if we just live in a cold pocket or, <laughs> or if it's actually 50 below right here where we're at, but so cold. Not gonna lie, I am completely layered up this morning. I have long underwear on over or under my leggings. <laughs> I've got a t-shirt and then I have this hoodie. It's been my favorite hoodie lately. Like I've, I've lived in it. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably always see me in it. I'll put a link down below for this one if they are in stock. Um, again, if you want to shop Buff Bunny, my sister owns it. So she gave me a code. It is Violet Vlogs. I'll put all the information down below, but um, it's an oversized hoodie. And what I love about it is that it's oversized. I do not like fitted hoodies. They just, they're, they're nice looking. And if you want to look a little bit dressed up, more dressed up and be in a hoodie, they're really nice. But if you want to be comfy and you want to be warm, these oversized ones are amazing. The medication that they have me on has made me so cold. And if I get cold, like right now, if I go outside, like my fingers are tingling just from taking that B-roll. When they get cold, the only feeling I can explain is like when you get done mowing the lawn and your hands are like vibrating after you get done, like mowing a lot, that's what it feels like. It's not like when your arm goes to sleep or your hand goes to sleep but it's just a weird feeling. So yesterday was really painful. I had to get gas and then go pick up the kids from school. And as I was sitting there, my hands were like not working. So I do need to get some nice gloves, which I think I'm gonna try to swing over to Big Ray's. It's like a local place here. We've needed a lot of winter gear lately. And so <laughs> I've made some trips over there. I found a really cute hat that you guys will see because I have to wear a hat when it's this cold, just have to. All right, so I actually have my follow-up for my implant today, so I do have to go out. Lance dropped the kids off at school for me, which was so nice, and I got ready. Actually, my appointment is in 25 minutes. I should probably head out. I think it's gonna go very well. The tooth, or lack thereof, <laughs> Um, it feels really good, especially since those stitches came out. Those were the most you know, annoying. You cut them out just? I did tell them I cut them out. Wow, you're so impatient. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not impatient. They were supposed to have dissolved already, and they didn't. Uh, those, those things were solid still. Dude. They, those were, they were so solid. I, so solid. I was over them. I was so over them, and I don't recommend pulling your own stitches out. Okay, talk to your doctor. Don't do what I do. Do, don't do what I. What? What's the saying? <laughs> don't do as I do. Do as they say. Oh yeah. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Call your doctor. Okay. There's a couple rules that I have if we have to go out or we have do have to go out with the kids. I have them completely bundled up, and I know you're not supposed to in like car seats. This is my only exception when it is this cold. I am very strict on my car seats, but. My thought on this, if we were to get in an accident at 40 below and I was unconscious or I could not get to Addison, she would freeze so fast if she was not in her full winter year. So you're kind of, it's kind of like a balancing act. I'm not saying it's the right way. And I know you're not supposed to have any winter gear on your kids, but at these temperatures, it is so extreme that you have minutes before they can freeze. You you have to make a choice. What is, what's right for you? Um, I really don't bring her out. She's not going with me today. Lance is gonna stay home with her. Anyways, these are some things that always run through my head when I'm leaving the house. I'm gonna make sure that I have some gloves. Now, I do need to get a nice pair of gloves, which is why I need to go to Big Ray's. I need a nice pair of gloves and like a nice winter jacket. I'm just layering up today. I have my hoodie and then I have my like Costco jacket, which is not warm at all, 
but between the both of them, I do stay warm. I'm going to have my winter boots on. I'm gonna have a pair of snow pants and gloves in the car. Um, just make sure that if something does happen because of these temperatures, cars freeze quickly. I will have to put, I'm gonna put the stats right here for if you're going 60 miles an hour, what your car is actually feeling are these temperatures. It is very hard on vehicles and my vehicle is 10 years old. My vehicle's in really good condition. Lance does a good job of like staying on top of everything, but there's always that chance um, that something could happen. So we just wanna be prepared. This got long, let's go ahead to my appointment. <laughs> supposed to get up to 25 below today. Whoop, whoop. I'm done. That went really well. I think they told me to bring my Invisalign tray to make sure like it wasn't hitting on the implant and I forgot. I think they told me. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, um, the healing looks good. The stitches are out. They dissolved. <laughs> Healing's really good. The swelling, I don't think there's a ton of swelling. He did say he liked my hat. I think that's like the nicest thing he's ever said to me. <laughs> He's, he's, he's surgeon-y, you know how like surgeons are very uh, whew, confident, dry people normally, not all, but he's just, you know, he did a great job on my implant and, and that's what I care about. I don't necessarily care that he compliments me on my hat, but it was really nice. All right, I need to grab something to eat. I just realized I haven't had anything to eat. I need some coffee. I need to run to the bank. And then I need to get some editing done because my update video has actually not been posted yet. That's what I'm gonna do today, but I know it's already been up because this video is up. Anyways, the world of vlogs. Oh, oh, we shut off. We don't do that. All right. I am going to go grab some coffee. I'm gonna go to the bank and then I'm gonna get some editing done. I didn't realize how much school is and what you have to do, especially during Christmas time. Um, there is pajama day on Friday for the kids. Today, Natalie had Grinch day and also your tires are, your tire sensors are always going off when it's this cold. Um, they're not always actually flat. Anyways, Natalie had Grinch Day today, which I made Grinch Rice Krispies. Really, it was just Rice Krispies with green food coloring in them. I did that, and then this Friday, they have Pajama Day, and Natalie's like, I don't really have any pajamas that are like, <laughs> worth wearing to school and I was like oh man so the boys do Natalie does not I need to grab her some pajamas I want to go get like the teachers some gifts because they deserve it I mean I can't imagine teaching up to 25 kids in one class they deserve to have a little something. I think I'm gonna get like the tiny little tubes, like the travel size tubes of Tylenol. <laughs> Put them in there. All right, this is really rambly. We have warmed up to minus 30. Hallelujah. I don't really think it's actually minus 30 because my watch still says minus 35, but we're gonna go with minus 30 because that's what my man says. <laughs> I just stopped at Bagels and Brew. They were actually like a chain that I think was owned by a local person and then she branched out and created her own thing. I'm just in the parking lot, okay? Whew, that kind of hurt my implant. 
Um, anyways, I got a breakfast bagel and I got a white chocolate Americano with cream because that's what I do. And it's also super hot. Almost lost you guys. Okay, what I was saying was Americanos are hot. And sometimes coffee huts cool them down, which is nice because then you can drink them right away. But because it's so cold, I'm using it as a hand warmer um, first before I drink it. <laughs> so I asked for a white chocolate Americano with cream. Lance says you can order it as a dirty white chocolate Americano, but that makes me feel naughty, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I can't ask for a dirty white chocolate Americano. I can't do it, I just can't. Okay, drink this coffee. I'm gonna eat a little bit of bagel. I can't eat a lot in the morning. Um, it's all that sounded good. They have an amazing Thai peanut chicken wrap. I always say it wrong. Maybe it's a peanut Thai chicken wrap, I don't know. But it is so good, I get extra chicken because the extra protein. It comes with like a peanut sauce that you dip. It's like a wrap. It is so good. There's like sprouts and lettuce and oh my gosh, there's cucumber in it. It's amazing. That's my favorite thing there. But it was just too early. I mean, I know it's 11, but it was just too early for that because I haven't really eaten much. It was a little bold. So I'm gonna drink my coffee at 30 below. We haven't moved above 30 below. <laughs> and I'm gonna do some editing, eat my little bagel. It's really tiny, but this is actually perfect size for me. All right, thanks for coming along on this chatty vlog. I feel like this is part of like getting food with you guys. I need to show what I'm eating. This was a small bagel, but it's like literally perfect size. Some of them just get so obnoxious. And there's egg and sausage for every bite, which I love. This tastes very like homemade. Most of the coffee huts only have so much to work with. So it's like microwaved eggs and microwaved like sausage. So they're like, okay. But this definitely tastes like an actual fried egg on here. It's so good. All right, change of plans because that's how my life goes. <laughs> oh my gosh, someone just spun around. I, I think they were trying to fishtail a little and the whole vehicle just was like spinning. I think he needs to go change his pants. <laughs> okay, anyways, <clears throat> way off topic, Alaska things. Change of plans. We only have one vehicle plugged in right now. Uh, we actually found out on Monday. It was quite the Monday morning, guys. Monday morning was like 45 below. Lance's truck, we're not sure what's going on, but the winterization was obviously not working fully. Something in there was not working and this is normally the time that you find out that it's not um you can get them inspected and lance is actually going to try a few things to see if he can fix it without replacing it's the block heater so there's like a heater that goes into the engine it's like a yeah i don't know i don't know all that stuff but but it keeps something warm that makes it start okay that's what i know and then there's like an oil pan heater which keeps the oil warm because your oil will sludge up if it's all cold and it won't properly lubricate the engine. I do know that. Then you have a battery pad heater because you don't want your battery freezing up because at these temperatures, if your battery is not in perfect condition, your battery will freeze up. So Monday morning, Lance went to go to work and he goes to work at ungodly hours. And his, his truck just was not starting at all. And so he had to take my van because he has to get to work. So he took my van that was in the garage to work. And then I spent that entire morning. Um, I went outside and I ended up jumping Lance's truck. It had been plugged in, jumped it enough to like get it started because I knew that one would start. He has his little, we call it the beater with the heater. It's a little rough vehicle, little fusion <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that he runs in the summertime, but it's not really like the greatest car. I don't really want him driving it when it's like super cold or like icy because it's not super reliable. And also if he were to hit a moose in that, it, it just, it wouldn't be great. Anyways, I jumped his truck, got it going that morning, got the kids to school. I came back home shoveled out his summer car and it, the summer car had been plugged in all morning since like four o'clock and it is such a little champ dude we call it the mvp of the day and after that car being plugged in for like four or five hours i shoveled it off because it had like probably this much snow on it i shoveled the whole thing off 
I tried starting it just because I was like, eh, maybe by chance, and it almost started, but I did also have to jump that. Guys, I have talked about these so much. I'm not sponsored by any company, but these have been such a lifesaver for us. This jump-started Lance's big truck. It jump-started his car, but this little thing, you just plug this cord into here, and it tells you if it's reversed, so you can't reverse it. Um, it's very basic. You see the red, you see the red wire, you clamp the red one. You see the black, you clamp the black one. Okay, it's very simple, but this made it foolproof, and I did not have to pull it. I didn't have to have a running vehicle to be able to jumpstart them. I just was able to go out there completely bundled, looking ridiculous, <laughs> but because it was like 45 below. Um, got them both started and I got his car like thawed out so I could go pick up the kids because his truck winterization was just not working. It was just not reliable. Why do I talk so much? Oh my gosh. There's like all these things. I feel like I need to put all the details in. I'm sorry guys. I know some of you don't like that, but this is just who I am as a person. We need to go out and we need to get, um, he needs to get, I think he's going to try to, we want, re, <laughs> rewire his block heater because sometimes just the wire goes bad it's a lot cheaper one and two um it's a lot cheaper <laughs> there's no reason not to try it i mean it's like 30 dollars versus like i think like 400 dollars. so he might as well try this he can do this part at home and test it out if it's not good we have an appointment tomorrow with a shop to get it uh, a new uh, heater thingy uh, block heater put in it we need to do that because his truck needs to be able to start when it's these temperatures because we get these often what I was trying to say is Lance's truck is not starting period at all if it's plugged in the heaters just aren't the, the block heaters not working and he didn't plug his car in because he thought I'd be back by in time but the school the kids get out early today so I do have to be back to go pick them up. I like to be there early because otherwise they hang out in these temperatures outside. Now they're bundled from head to toe, but still they're, they have to hang out outside until they can get into the car. And if there's a huge long line, it's just not fun. So I really need to vlog more. So I just talk less, I think. Oh, so much talking. <laughs> I'm gonna put a link. I'm sure they have these on Amazon, uh, I think. They have them at Costco. If you have a Costco membership, I'm sure Sam's Club has them. They probably have them in Fred Meyers, Walmart. Just they're called a jump pack and <clears throat> you can charge your phone with them. You plug in, one side is the plug in for the little wires. And then this one has a USB and then like a mini USB. This one is kind of older but she, man, she's good to go. I jump started two vehicles and it still has three quarters of the battery left. Just blown away, I'm gonna throw a link down below if you guys wanna check those out. Completely saved the day. If I didn't have that, I would not have been able to take the kids to school, period, at all. So, there's that. All right, let's head in. <laughs> get back in the swing of vlogging but I've been home for a few hours now I came home and I was like okay I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff done before I pick up the kids from school and did I do them no um what I did was I always get to parent pickup line like super early because they're like waiting outside and today again was 30 40 below and they just have to hang out up there and I just don't like that so <laughs> I get there super early I brought my computer I got the life update edited and posted today 
that felt really good so if you haven't seen that go check it out but basically i talk about everything that's been going on in our lives not everything but you know the things that i can talk about and it feels so late because it's been dark for hours already it's only 4 35. the kids are very hungry and lance is craving chinese food there is a place here called pagoda and it is the best Chinese food I've ever had in the United States of America. It is amazing. And they take off two weeks after Christmas, but that means two weeks without zero pagoda. And during those two weeks, we're gonna crave them. So we are gonna go get it. <laughs> we're gonna go hang out there and get some Chinese food as a family. While the kids have been in school, it's been so nice to have our nights to spend time with them. I do still kind of get overwhelmed when they come home because it's so much noise all at once, but I have really focused on just like getting to spend time with them, playing games with them, doing the fun things that, you know, I didn't always find time for because I was constantly just, my fuse was always gone. I'm so grateful to have a little bit more fuse back. And so we're gonna, normally going out to dinner stresses me out because like, you know kids are kids and they spill things and it's craziness and and it's wild and it, it's it doesn't stress me out so much anymore so we're gonna go get some pagoda and sit together as a family i don't know how much i'll vlog but i'll show you a little bit around our favorite chinese food restaurant gosh are you guys almost ready <gasps> Ooh, we almost brought you takeout from the chinese food restaurant there <laughs> i'm always the last one in the vehicle <laughs> it's Lance! Everyone loves when Lance is in the in the vlog. And the kiddos. It has warmed up a little bit. It's not so cold, so we're still gonna leave the car running the whole time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you yeah. seen these prices on fuel? <laughs> <laughs> My babies need to stay warm. It is warmed up a little bit, but they all still look like the Christmas story kid all bundled in their winter gear. They were like, Mom, why snow pants in winter gear? Because it's still very cold. That's also, why. who watches that movie every single year? Moon. Oh, the moon! Tradition. Guess I think what? it's a terrible movie. I think it's fantastic. I didn't watch it. Shoot your eye out. Oh. It's so dark in here. <laughs> this is the world's worst lighting. So I never watched the Christmas Story until I was like a grown adult, and he watched it when he was younger. I Every think it's year. it's so boring. I it can't was, do I it. I on TV a lot too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not a no, it's a classic. It's, it's a yeah. classic, but a boring one. <laughs> Have you seen White Christmas? No. Yeah. See. Trash. Who has seen White Christmas? <laughs> Tell me down below. Have you seen White Christmas or The Christmas Story? Or which one do you enjoy? I should say because I think everyone's seen. It. Hey Jess, put your seatbelt on. That's the so second time I've done that in the vlogs knows. today. Oh my gosh. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night. The sign doesn't cool. really like them. It's like oh. minus minus Fahrenheit. The sign says no. <laughs> it says, it says it's my, negative no. <laughs> negative go inside. <laughs> Christmas Day. There's joy. Families near, we give thanks for this past year. Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share. Oh, what a bliss! A green, red delight with glimmering silver wine. You dazzle us all from big to small. Warm laughter and white smiles. My presence. All right, we're done with dinner. It was fantastic. We've obviously come to Safeway because we need to do some wrapping tonight. And as always, I bought like six rolls. <laughs> I bought probably six rolls of tape, I don't know, a few weeks ago, hoping that I would have enough left, but somehow it's all disappeared. So we gotta get some tape because I think we're gonna be wrapping some presents tonight. And the kids always enjoy going to the store because they really don't go in that often. <laughs>
Let's go. I'm not gonna lie after we got back from Safeway and going to dinner I was like slightly overwhelmed I think it was just like too much stimulation for me and so we came home and we just got through we got the kids in bed um, it is just been a, a, a low-key night that I was like okay let's just make it to bedtime <laughs> everybody was very tired tonight and just like kind of out of sorts so Lance is working on laundry for me which is so nice so that's why i'm out here in the garage of course when i would do like a day in the life video though it was i think it was 33 below when we came home just a few hours ago and it is already warmed up to 17 below and it just keeps climbing by the time we take the kids to school in the morning it's gonna be like seven below and i can't tell you how warm seven below feels once we have had 40 and 50 below. It is just crazy. <laughs> oh man, I am so excited. Um, I know I talked a lot in this vlog, but I wanna thank you guys for coming along. It feels good to do another just positive, fun vlog. And uh, I hope to continue these and bring you guys along. I do wanna say thank you guys for all the love and support that you gave me on my little life update video where we talk about like sending the kids to school. <sighs> the support that I had, there was a couple nasty comments that I did delete because I'm like, I just, I don't, I don't deal with that type of negativity um, or judgment and I just, I delete and block if there's that type of stuff. I just don't have time for it and it's negative and it's toxic and I just, <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> oh, hi. You, about me? you scared me. No. <laughs> hi. Um, <clears throat> hi. The dryer's not tumbling. You getting more clothes? Not putting any more in. Towels? In the dryer? Oh, they're just towels? Just all towels? Yeah, I do always. I always. When you do laundry, pro tip from a guy. Not that I do laundry a lot, but I always <laughs> end. <laughs> I was just no, no, hold on a second. <laughs> hold on a minute. I mean, all the time. I do all the laundry on here. So, <laughs> you always end with towels. Always end with towels. It's, That's true. It's I fun. Know. I mean, it's like, you're like, hey, do a couple loads and I'll throw some towels in that way you don't have to worry about folding them and right they're the least yeah. amount of work i mean that's that's pretty he, you i mean you did like three or four loads of laundry today didn't you ain't no man has ever gotten yelled at for doing laundry never N have never been nagged at picked on yelled at <laughs> when, <they're doing> laundry. <laughs> when i say like three or four loads our washer is massive uh massive so it's a lot of laundry i appreciate you it's a weird angle it's a weird angle i know look at all my chins all right anyways oh cute felt good to do like just a fun vlog and bring you guys along today even though this is just my life like it is so unplanned and as as much as i wish that things would go exactly how i want them to go they never do and i just kind of go with the flow I don't force things. We did want to make cookies today again, and it just did not happen. We decided to go out to dinner as a family instead, and that was that was amazing. We will make cookies as a family, and we will and we will enjoy it when we do. But it was just a little bit too much for me. And my only advice is don't force something just because you feel like you want to get it done and over with. Um, wait until. You can enjoy it the house doesn't have to be clean the kids are not going to remember if the house is clean when you decorated cookies the laundry doesn't have to be caught up um, because they're not going to remember if the laundry was caught up they're going to remember making those cookies they're going to have those memories of just being with you being with the family it's just so much fun so that's my little two cents all right i am going to end this one thank you guys for coming along today on this day in the life of freezing to death <laughs> hit that like hit that subscribe and we will see you in the next video bye